Hi everyone, it's Nicole here for Mama Elephant with a Peonies in Bloom Missing You card. This card features not only the brand new Peonies in Bloom stamps and dies, but also the new Framed Tags Artist Matte Creative Cuts dies, which is the frame, and then the previously released Hello Friend Wishes stamp set and the Venice Envelope Creative Cuts dies, which I'm using the Hello sentiment from that set. We're going to start by stamping the Peonies in Bloom flowers on some Bristol Smooth cardstock using a clear embossing ink and heat setting with white embossing powder. I'm using a powder tool first to help keep the embossing powder, excuse me, only on the stamped images so that it doesn't migrate elsewhere. I'm using just a couple of the images from the Peonies in Bloom stamp set, or the, a couple of the floral images. I'm using the two smaller images, and I'm going to stamp them several times. The smallest one three times, and the second smallest one twice. We're also going to stamp some leaves from this stamp set to use in our little grouping of flowers that we're going to add along the bottom edge of our frame. Once I've heat set my flowers, it's time to start watercoloring. I'm going to watercolor these flowers using a combination of the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers and a water brush pen. This is my favorite way to do watercolor quickly and easily as the embossed areas hold that ink within the line. I'm going to quickly lay down my dark color on some of the petals and then blend it out just a tiny bit with the lighter color. If you want a little bit less of a watercolor look, you can always not use the water at all and simply color in the entire petals with your markers. If you want to get a third lighter tone, you could use the blender marker in place of that water brush pen. Once I've laid down the color, I'm going to take a water brush pen filled with water and blend out that color on each of the flower petals. I'm using three different pink markers. This particular flower is pink haze and light pink. The green areas are all light green and yellow green. And then for any of the darker flowers, we're going to use peach pink and light pink and the water brush pen. They're all basically the same color of flower, but some just are a little bit deeper and darker. And what I was going for is with peonies, when they are still closed up before they open up and they're a little bit darker, that was kind of what I wanted to represent here. I did three of these small ones, as I mentioned earlier, and two of the larger ones. They are so super soft and pretty. Let's go ahead and color the remaining flowers and then we'll die cut our frame for our card. I wanted to keep the focus on the flowers on this design but still have a bit of an interesting background. Frames are always a fantastic way to add that great decorative element to the edges of a card or a scene or just to frame up some really, really pretty images like these peonies. We're going to be using that new Framed Tags Artist Matte Creative Cuts die collection that has a frame, a tag, and then even a separate little die that has windows in it that you could use with the frame or with the tag. We will only be using the frame here today. What is so cool about this particular frame is it has a scallop border, then a stitched edge, a scored edge, and then a cut edge in the center. You can see it on the right side of the screen, so it has lots of detail to it. I die cut this from some Fun Stamper's Journey Spellbinders Tin Pale cardstock, so it's a super light gray cardstock. I went through all the cardstock in my stash looking for the lightest gray I had. It's about at this point that I thought I probably needed some more greenery in my little collage of flowers, so I stamped additional leaves plus that last bloom. 
I always like to do my embellishments in an odd number. So I had four already and I really felt like a fifth flower would balance out the design much nicer. Plus a few scattered leaves are going to help fill in that fantastic greenery. I want to die cut my sentiment for my card that says hello using that Venice Envelope Creative Cuts die from a dimensional sandwich. I like to do this by taking a piece of fun foam and backing it on both sides with stick it adhesive. I then run it through my die cutting machine to make sure that adhesive is nice and secured on both sides of the fun foam. Then we will replace one side with a piece of cardstock. You could do this in any color you want. Today I'm using a scrap of smooth white cardstock to keep my sentiment pretty basic and plain. Both the die cut sentiment and the stamp sentiment are both done with white. I've die cut the word hello before I adhere it. I want to go ahead and stamp my sentiment onto that inside rectangle piece. When I die cut the framed tags artist mat, I went ahead and kept that inside piece as well. Then I'm going to line up my die and this sentiment phrase from the Hello Friend Wishes stamp set using the hello as a guide. And then I will stamp and emboss that sentiment from the Hello Friend Wishes. I've stamped that with a clear embossing ink and I'm heat setting with white embossing powder. The white is soft and pretty and looks really great against the light gray background. We're ready to put it all together now. We're going to go ahead and secure the inside rectangle, the part we just stamped on, on a white top fold card base. I want to use the frame as a guide and I'm going to just hold it down in place with my hand while I take a nice strong adhesive and secure that inside panel to my card base. I'm doing this because I want to pop up the frame with some foam adhesive so that it has a little bit of dimension. Once I have that inside rectangle secured, I am going to use a little liquid adhesive on a little area that didn't glue down really well and use a pair of tweezers to hold that while it dries. My cardstock warped a bit when I heat set it. I have backed my frame with foam adhesive now and I'm going to peel off the backing paper and pop that into place on my card. This automatically gives the look of a dimensional frame. We're going to secure and adhere all of our peonies to our card with foam adhesive. I'm going to lay them out just a little bit first and then I'll start adhering them. I don't want foam adhesive overlapping any of the areas so the adhesive is only on that background center part rectangle. Anything that overlaps the frame itself or other flowers you can add a little bit of liquid adhesive to that to secure it. Once I have all of my flowers kind of positioned where I think I want them to go, and I am trimming little bits off certain areas to make them lay a little bit nicer, I will add those leaves as well, and I've laid those out too. I love how some of the leaves look like they've maybe fallen from the flower itself. It adds a really fun little touch to cards. Finally, I'm going to take the Hello Sentiment from the Venice Envelope Creative Cuts dies that we die cut from the cardstock adhered to Fun Foam, remove those inside pieces from the center of the letters using the Spellbinders tool in one, and pop that up above our stamped and embossed greeting. 
To add just a little bit more color to the top of the card and to balance it out, I am going to take some honeybee stamps, strawberry ice, acrylic hearts, and glue them in place over to the right of the sentiment. We're going to use two small hearts and one larger one. I love these little acrylic embellishments for finishing off almost any card design. The little pop of color really helps balance out the, all that really beautiful soft pink along the bottom edge of the card by bringing it up to the top. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this floral Hello Missing You card featuring the Mama Elephant Peonies in Bloom Stamps and Coordinating Dies. The supplies I used to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Mama Elephant stamps and dies that you might be interested in. Thank you so much for joining me today, and we'll catch you next time.